Okay, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get sharp cornered strokes in Photoshop on a text layer. So like you see here on the jersey, we've got sharp corners going around the jersey number. Okay, and so we're using the Uni Mockups Vaporflex jersey template available at unimockups.com. It's only $12, so pick it up if you uh, like the look and you like to do jersey designs. And we are on the jersey number layer. And I'm going to throw a blue background up here just to make this easier to see on video. Um, we won't want that when we save this layer, but I'll show you that. And we're going to put a number on here. So I've got my type tool selected, my horizontal type tool. I've got NFL Varsity Block font selected I'm on my silver color. And I'm just going to try to get this as close to centered as I can. I like to use number 24. And we'll just move this around just a little bit. Get this somewhere close to horizontally centered. I don't want it vertically centered necessarily uh, for the placement on this particular design, but uh, we'll get it there. And if you go to your blending options and you choose the native stroke tool, what you end up with is this outline, right? That's what a stroke is in this sense with these rounded corners, right? And I'm not a huge fan of that style, um, and I don't think that's very prominent if, if it exists at all in the NFL. Um, so you may want it for your design, um, but I typically don't like to use it. And so how do we get around that in Photoshop? Uh, because you'll know that uh, if you use Illustrator, um, strokes are a lot different in Illustrator. Uh, the functionality is a little bit different when you're working with text. And so, um, the way to make this work in Photoshop is to convert this text to a vector shape. So um, if we go ahead and just turn off our effects, if we right click and we convert to shape, we now have a vector shape. So this is uh, outlined in blue, it's got a blue path around it, and essentially what we have is a path that is filled with a color. In this case it's the color that our text was. Um, you can change the color easily by clicking on any color in your color library if that's what you have set up. Um, or you could double click on it and choose from your color picker. I'm going to stick with that gray color. And if you go over here and you choose your path selection tool or you can choose the direct selection tool, either one will work. It's going to bring up these menu options up here and there's just a couple things we need to do. So this here is your stroke options, and we want to leave it on solid line. You can also choose dashed or dotted line. We want to make sure the corners are set to this top option here, which is the angled 90 degree corner. Go ahead and leave our caps set here to the top option. And for alignment, the default is here, which is center. We want to choose here. This is going to outline our stroke to the outside of our path. So the top one is inside your path, this one is center on your path and this one is outside. Okay, And then here is the size of our stroke. So we can use the slider and there you can see our stroke and it's forming outside of the blue path just like we said. Um, I'm going to just choose to type in my stroke size. I like 24 for this also. And then you can choose your stroke color here. You can use a recently used color or again you can use the color picker. So however you want to do that. And what you end up with is nice, sharp corners all around. Okay. And so if we turn off that background color and we do Control or Command S to save this, we go back out and you see you have that nice, hard corners on your jersey numbers. Okay. So that is a nice way to get sharp corners on your stroke. You can do that with any text element in Photoshop if you convert it to a shape, or really any element in Photoshop if it's something that you can convert to a shape. Okay, and you can do that with a path. So if you have um, anything else that you'd like to see, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be doing more simple tutorials like this in the future, trying to stick to the basics for now, for those of you who are maybe just getting started. 
Uh, so please subscribe. And again, if you like the template, uh, head over to unimockups.com and pick it up. And uh, thank you so much.